Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today we are going to be talking about one of my favorite niches in photography, which is the flat lay photography. What it is and how you can do it to get banger photos. I'm really excited about this. So let's roll in the intro and let's get started. So let's start by understanding what flat lay photography is. So when you see photos taken from a top down perspective or in other words from directly above of things and items laid perfectly on the surface that is called flat lay photography. It looks really good on magazine covers, Instagram posts, YouTube channel banners, YouTube thumbnails etc. And this is one of the topics that I really love in photography. I love taking flat lay photos a lot. You can tell by my excitement that I really love this topic. So when you click a flat lay photo, I like to take four points into consideration. The first one is define your focus. So when you take a photo, you want to figure out what it is that you are trying to focus on, whether it is one particular item or there are multiple items. So you basically want this figured out. So for example, this photo over here has focus on multiple items. You don't only see the scissors. Your eyes does not only focus on one particular thing as soon as you see it. Same with this photo. There are three items which your eyes focus on the first then you start looking at different things but on the other hand if you take a look at this photo of this knife as soon as you see it you instantly know that the main item in this photo is the knife itself how and why does this happen why are eyes focus on multiple items or why does it focus only on one particular item and that is because of the layout of all these things and that brings me to my second point which is the layout so now when you know what your focus is whether it may be a single item or various items you want all the other props and the main props products laid out in such a way that the layout directs your eyes towards the main product or the main focus in the photo. So how you do that is by having various elements that lead our eyes towards the main focus because you don't want one particular thing placed in right center because that can be a little bit boring. So here's another example of this photo. Notice the flow of that green leaf over the knife and was that a coriander? I don't remember it. But notice how that flow leads towards the main product, that is the knife. Moving on to the next thing, which is finding the right balance. So the purpose of laying out all the things should not only be of focusing on a particular element, but should also create a balance everywhere in the photo at the same time. You don't just want to throw up all the things and take a picture. It is going to look like a mess. Instead, you want to have it all organized. So this photo over here has this one little screw over here and I have kept that over there because it completes the photo for me. It balances the photo equally. If that screw wasn't there, it would have looked unbalanced. So you want to take some time and find out the right balance while you are laying out all the things. The fourth point is details. When it comes to flat lay photography, details is everything. May it be in context to texture or may it be in context to actual tiny objects that act as details. This is something that separates a really good looking, perfectly balanced flat lay photo from a not so good looking flat lay photo. And I have been on both sides of the spectrum. So take a look at this photo for an example. Notice a piece of paper in the corner. It's a paper, a piece of paper, and there's a magnet on it. A magnet. It has nothing to do with the main product, but it does match the theme. The piece of paper balances out the white playing card at the top corner and the red magnet balances out the red tool in the bottom corner. And adding all these tiny details is going to make you stand out, it's going to make your photo stand out, it is going to make your photo look really good and it is going to just complete your photo. Let's add another bonus point to round it up to 5 points. So let's talk about surfaces over here for a minute. So you want to find out surfaces with texture, reflections, matte finish, whatever you can find but nothing plain. You just don't want a surface which has nothing on it. A wooden board or a textured surface suits perfectly for flat lay photography. So take a look at this photo over here. The surface that I have used is nothing but a bag. It is a bag that I have used as a surface. So there is no limit to what you can use as a surface. But just try to find texture or different elements in it. In that photo I just kept my bag down there and snapped a picture of that tool. So those were some of my tips on flat lay photography. So lastly I am just going to leave you with a behind the scenes photo of a flat lay photo. So that is it from me guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video, I hope you had fun, I hope you learned something out of this video, but if you did, be sure to drop a like, leave a comment and I will see you very soon in the next video, but until then, bye bye.
You don't only see that one particular item, you see all those. You don't only see that scissors, you, you don't only see that, you don't only see the scissors, you see Ho, ho, ho. Okay, moving on to the next thing. Why did I do this? For example, if you have two items, these are perfectly balanced. If you have six items, then these are perfectly balanced. Just an example. Little details, little details, little details. Little details. And this is something that separates a really good looking perfectly balanced. This is something that separates a good looking perfectly balanced. Balanced. Crap, 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 crap.